In this section we will work on the periscope and all of the periscope pieces are made out of medium weight chipboard and they are listed in this periscope section at the bottom of the medium weight chipboard page. We'll start by building the base and we want to check a few measurements first. So this is my periscope base top that I've cut uh, to, as the cutting guide said to one inch by four and a quarter and I'm just going to put it up here and make sure it is fitting properly. Now it should fit just in here and butt right up against the head and fit tight against or fairly tight. It doesn't have to be snug snug because we'll wrap it with paper but it should fit right in that space. Now if it is too narrow or too wide you'll make an adjustment for that. Now, as far as the length, it should go no, no further than the edge of the head here. It can come, the tips can come right to the edge of the head, but they should, it should not go past. So if, you may need to make an adjustment on the length as well. It can, if yours is a little short, that's okay, but if it is longer, you'll want to trim it off. The next thing we'll check is, if, especially if you've made any adjustments, is to take this piece that's, if you've made adjustments, it's your new piece, and line it up flush with the edge of the interior box over here, and then measure the overhang. And in my case, that is two inches. The box is built to be two and a quarter. It does have some paper on here. It may be a smidge less than two inches. But if yours is, is not two inches, then I'll tell you how to adjust for that as we go along. So what we're doing with this periscope base is we have this flat piece and then we're building up underneath here on the both sides. So the first thing we want to do is to cut a piece that will go underneath on each side. Now um, we have a piece that's labeled periscope base sides in the cutting guide that's 7 eighths of an inch tall and I cut two sections that are one inch long because that I, my overlap was two inches. Now if your overlap was less than two inches take that uh, distance that it was, divide it in two, and that will be the length of your two little pieces here. Once we have our little pieces cut, we need to make a notch in them to go around the cord back here. And you may recall that when we put that notch in on the support pieces, we measured down three quarters of an inch. So we'll still use that three quarters of an inch on these pieces and the 7 8 inch side is the vertical dimension so this is really going to end up being right near the bottom and in fact you could just you know if it does end up nibbling off that bottom that's okay too so I'm just going to take my crop a doll that's got junk in it anyway and clear out a space for that cord and I'll do that on this other piece as well. So I've zoomed in a little to hopefully make it easier to see and these are my ledger strips. They're the quarter inch medium weight chipboard that have score tape on the back and I just put some black ink on here just so that you would be able to see the difference better. And I've cut these all oh, about seven eighths or three quarters of an inch long and when I put them in I want to hold them back a sixteenth of an inch from this edge and a sixteenth of an inch from the end down here. So that'll give us a nice uh, gluing surface so that when we come in here and we put some glue some glue right along that edge there and there. We'll have a nice easy place to stand them up and make sure that that's nice and vertical and that the hole is away from the base. 
So just set those in there, make sure they're vertical, and let that set up and dry. And before it gets totally set up, it's a good idea just to kind of bring it over here and make sure it's going to slip down and fit on either side there. Now I'm going to cut two pieces that will fit inside these ends and on mine I measure across here that gap at the top and I get 7 eighths and when I measure down here at the bottom I get 3 eighths. So let's cut those. So now on my side piece that's 7 eighths of an inch tall, I'm going to measure across on the top 7 eighths inches and down here on the bottom I'll measure 3 eighths and I'll cut this shape out. And then I'll glue that shape right here into the end. Once our glue is set up, we can do another test fit. Now here, I have just trimmed the little notches so that they open all the way straight to the bottom. That way we can easily slip this down over the wires. So now this should just fit in place here and fit nicely. And just look at both sides and make sure you're seeing a nice little box action going on in there on both sides. Oops, I'm getting the camera here. There we go. And once you've got that, then we can take it off and work on it a little more. And then we're just going to put a little piece right in here at the bottom on each side. So measure doesn't have to go all the way to the notch. I'm going to make mine about oh a little bit less than three quarters by I'm going to hold it back a little bit from three eighths. This end we know is three eighths but I don't want it to get bound up on there. So I'll make it oh probably five sixteenths by a little bit less than three quarters. So I'll cut two pieces and then I'll show you how those go in. So we'll just run a little glue right along these two edges and just take our little piece and that'll just help give some support there as we put paper on it. And I'll put that other little piece in on this side and then I'll let this piece thoroughly dry before we put paper on it. So to wrap this with decorative paper, I'm using some paper from the 6x6 six six pad and I've cut this first piece an inch and three quarters by five. I've put three eighths inch score tape on each long side and an inch in the middle because we'll center this here and then we'll wrap it around. So I'll get that started. Then I wrapped the two sides and then I made a 45 degree cut. You can see it going into the corner there and that will allow me to wrap that little edge there on both sides. And then I've cut just the tiniest little miter for a sixteenth of an inch here on these corners so that I can wrap this piece to the inside. And then on this side I've cut it even with the corner here. So right now I have these tabs sticking out and then I'm going to cut them even with the corner because we are going to wrap something around the two ends. And then finally on this piece we'll make a release cut right next to these pieces so that we can wrap this tab to the inside. So now for the ends I've cut a piece that is one and three eighths inch tall by two and three quarters long. 
and I've on the top edge here I got rid of that white paper with my peacock feathers marker and then I'll just start this oh about three-eighths of an inch past this edge here with the with the little slot removed and I'm keeping it even with that sixteenth of an inch so that when I wrap around here on this side I'll still see about a sixteenth of an inch of the top there. Then I'm just going to trim this back to about three-eighths of an inch on the diagonal here. Nip that corner off. Make a slit there so that I can wrap this side. I just trim the bottom off here so that there's only about, oh, just a little bit over a quarter of an inch uh, left down there. And now I'm going to come in and cut a miter out of this corner, just kind of a 45 degree notch there. And that will allow me to bring this side in. And then I can wrap that around to the inside. And here we're working around the notch. Put it on top of here. So I'm going to cut around the notch and then straight out this way and straight out this way. So I'll do that and then I'll show you what it looks like. So now I have that and then I can just finish my wrapping. And then if you've got any little white spots from the paper, just go ahead and hit it. I'm just using some Peacock Feathers Distress Ink, which blends in real well with this. So now there's our covered piece. Now before I glue this piece on here, I'm going to just take my Peacock Feathers marker just get that edge of the chipboard just in case things don't come down exactly perfectly in those two places. So when we put this piece in, we'll put a bunch of glue up here on the top. I think I'll put a little bit more. And then I've got a little dot of glue I think you can see it right there on the sides. And I've also put some glue on the slanted edges that meet up with the head over here. And I've got a toothpick at the ready to clean up any glue overages. And just kind of press that down. You'll have to support the head here. And you want to look at it this way and make sure it's uh, level. You may need to pop the, the back up a little bit and push down towards the head a little bit so that you can keep that as level as possible. And then we'll just allow that to dry. I have all the pieces for the periscope set out here in front of me and I also have a little piece of ledger strip and a cardstock joining strip. So the first thing we want to do is to make a couple of cuts on the long sides and I'll just take one of the short sides and line it up right next to it at the bottom and make a little tick mark there where it comes. I'll do that on both of them. And then I'll connect that tick mark to the corner and cut that angle off. Now we'll put the periscope together in this order. We have a pointy end, uh, the two points facing each other with a short end in, in the middle and then the other short side here. And I'll just use some pieces of cardstock joining strip to join these uh, four together. Just butt the joints right up, keep them level on the bottom, and put those joining strips on. 
Then I've also added some joining strips to the angle top piece and I'll go ahead and remove the backing from the low one and just put that in place on top of one of these short sides. Of course I'm burnishing everything as I go along. Now I'm going to take some of my ledger strip and just put some little pieces in the center of each one of these um, so that we'll have a gluing surface to put our base on in a minute. And these don't have to be very long, uh, half an inch, three-eighths of an inch. Just something that will help us glue that uh, bottom piece in. So I've added all my little ledger strips here. I held them back a sixteenth of an inch from the edge. You can see this one's extra short down here. That's so there's room to uh, fasten down this uh, last part of the joining strip as it comes together here. So now I'm ready to make it three-dimensional. I remove the backing on this angled top piece and on this side. And so first I'll put the side together. And these edges just kiss. They don't overlap at all. And once I have that side joined, I can put these tabs on the inside. And again, these just kiss up here at the top as well. And then if you have any overhang of joining strips, just trim that off. And now we can run a little bead of glue along the bottom edges and drop our little base inside of there. That'll give us a nice flat bottom for gluing and also help keep the periscope nice and square. Now for the front of the periscope I have this piece that is 3 8 by 3 inches long and I'm just going to make some cuts every 3 quarters of an inch but I don't want those cuts to go quite all the way through the chipboard. Now if they end up going all the way through don't worry we'll just put a piece of cardstock on the inside to hold this unit back together. So make 3 quarter inch slits so you'll have 4 spaces at 3 quarters of an inch. So now we want to join this into a square and I've just got a little piece of post-it here that I added some score tape on the back of because I want something pretty thin to hold this together. Now you may not be able to see it but my last cut I was a little heavy so I've just cut this one long enough so that I can capture that place where I went too heavy and now I'll join this into a square. So the cutting guide has two three quarter inch squares. Uh, one we used for the base and the other one we're just going to temporarily drop into this uh, little periscope front piece that we're, we're making just to help hold it square while we do the next step. It's just temp in there temporarily it will come out. To cover the front of the periscope, I've cut a piece of paper from the 6 by 6 pad that is 3 and 3 quarters long by 1 and 1 quarter wide. And I'm going to score it first at 3 eighths. So 3 eighths. And then we'll count over 7 eighths from that. So 1 and a quarter. And then 7 eighths from that. 2, 4, 6, 7. That's two and one eighth, and then another seven eighths, and that'll be at three inches. So when we crease on those, we'll get nice sharp creases going around our outside of our periscope here. So that's the scoring. Now if you have three eighths inch tape, that'll be helpful in this next step. If you don't, uh, what you can do is come and draw with your ruler a line that is 7 16 so that is and I'm working on the inside here that's 3 8 plus a 16th 
draw that line down from the edge. Then I just took my bone folder and scored along that line. Now I'm going to put some 3 8 inch tape on the side that we just did ne next to the edge and then I'll put uh, some more tape on this side as well. So now before I wrap I took my scattered straw marker and just went on these two edges so that I wouldn't see any white um, from the overlap and I'm going to remove the middle piece of score tape backing and then this line that we drew we're going to use that and line that up with one of the edges of our box now the corners this is 7 8 inch wide but the, remember the chipboard is only 3 quarters so when you put the corner down you have to be about a 16th of an inch away from that corner in order to fill that in I need to work this way so I can see it So just wrap around, watching your line. And when you get to this last side, you'll need to start, just kind of peel back the ends of the score tape backing here because you'll have some overlap and you need it to stick. So you can see what I've done here and I'll just bring that in, line up those edges and now I can give that a gentle burnish at this point. Now we'll remove this square that we temporarily had on the inside and take out this, I'm working on the side with the line and we can use our scissors and cut down to that chipboard in each corner and we may need to taper in a little bit. Don't want to taper in very much. That was probably a little bit too much. Just about a sixteenth of an inch or so. Just to make it easier to wrap there. And now we'll just wrap each of these sides. You might want to work in opposite sides first. Just wrap them to the inside so that we end up finishing that inside. Now after you've done the two opposites you can see if you need to trim a little bit more on the original sides in order to get that to, to wrap nicely around there. And then once you've got that all wrapped go ahead and take your bone folder and give everything a really good burnish. Get those corners as nice as you can and you should have the inside should be um, completely covered, the chipboard that's in there, with our decorative paper. Now we want to cut a 7 8 inch square of plastic. You can just use some packaging plastic from some of the uh, components that we've added to the project. And I thought it would be kind of fun to have something behind it. And I think I'm going to use this fish eye here. So I'm just cutting out the shape that I want, uh, 7 eighths of an inch as well. And then I'll run just the teeniest, teeniest bit of glue right along the edges, just a hair. And then I'll take a little bit of glue and put it on these upright pieces of the periscope here and attach that in place. It just it needs to be kind of tacked in place because the front side is going to hold it in place here in a second. Then take your front of your periscope and make release cuts up to the chipboard on all four sides. Now the side with the seam is going to go towards the bottom. So we'll fold that all the way up even with the chipboard. 
and then the other ones will just kind of slide over the sides. I've just kind of spread them apart a little bit so that it's easy to get it on there. And just peek in here and make sure it's getting aligned. And then you'll have to uh, trim. I'm going to attach the sides first and then trim that back. Hopefully you can see that on both sides. And then put this top side down. So now there's a little eye peeking out of the periscope. Now we're ready to cover our periscope with pattern paper and I'm going to use these seahorses. Now the print actually is just about the right size to go uh, to fit on a side and so what I'm going to do is cover the two uh, tall slanted sides first and what I'll do is here's an element and then I'll cut uh, one in half on either side and I'll do that for both of my sides here and I'll make sure that I always keep these pieces oriented the same way so that they'll kind of flow all the way around um, the periscope. Now for height we know it was three inches here but we need a little extra up on the top so I'm going to cut these three and three eighths inches tall. Uh, it's three and three eighths inches tall so I'll do that. And then we can take our scoreboard and it's about seven eighths of an inch from the outside of one of these orange uh, stripes to the other one. So I'm just putting my uh, piece up here so that that's I've got seven eighths on his side and two on this side. I'll go ahead and score that. That'll help us keep some nice crisp corners as we go along. Then we'll go ahead and crease those. Now what we want to do is we'll wrap around these corners but up here where we're getting to by the edge of the front of the periscope we want to cut that off so we need to take a measurement from the base up underneath that periscope and for me that is two and three sixteenths so whatever your measurement is we'll come over and put our ruler at that and make a cut and then cut off that tab on the top should be able to follow that crease try that out that looks good and then remember that on the other one we need to cut it off of the opposite side and I'll measure again just to make sure but that's still two and three eighths. I mean two and three sixteenths. Now we'll want to do some inking on this edge up here and put some score tape on the rest. I'll put a quarter inch on these tabs and then some tape down the center here and make sure I get it up to this uh, edge that we're, we'll be inking. So I've inked my paper and I've installed some score tape here. I also inked the bottom of the periscope because this paper is going to go right to the bottom there uh, just in case we don't want anything to show but just in case I just want to have a little inking action there. And so we can go ahead and install this. I'm going to put the uh, underneath tab on first and then I'll put this tall side on and I'll leave this back side for now. Now here on the top I'm just going to nip off just the littlest bit on the corner. I'm not going to come all the way down here. Probably about an eighth of an inch. Just an eighth of an inch, an eighth of an inch and go ahead and just hit that with a little bit of ink. And then here We'll trim that off so it's about 
three eighths of an inch or so. Then we need to make a, I can remove this score tape here. I'm going to just make a cut that comes horizontally right there. And it looks like we need another little release cut just about here. So I'm going to put this first one on and try to keep it coming straight across. And then put this slanty one down. Let it come down here and then we can bring this tab in. And give that a good burnish. And then I'll repeat that for the other side. Now to finish off the front, we know this piece should be 2 and 3 16 so we can go ahead and measure that. Make sure that you're cutting it from the same direction or the same uh, piece of the bottom so that the seahorses will all line up. And I've just backed that with some score tape and inked the edges and I'll go ahead and put that on. And then to finish off the back, it's probably best to go ahead and cut the piece uh, long and then we can see how long we need to have it. So I'll go ahead and cut a uh, 7 eighths inch wide strip here. So I've cut an extra long piece here and I'm just holding it in place down here at the bottom and folding it up and seeing where it meets the pieces that we already installed. And I'll go ahead and mark that. Then I can cut that off, ink it up and get that installed. And then just to finish this edge on the top, I cut a little strip of the orange and it's about oh two and three quarters inches long so it can wrap even with the um, front piece going all the way around and then it can cover up this little part up here. And I'm going to put that on with some wet glue. I find that these small pieces sometimes don't um, stick that well in the long run if they just have a uh, score tape. So I'll just put some wet glue on that and finish off that edge. And I've inked it of course. So here's the finished periscope. But we won't attach it yet. It will eventually go up here on the top of the periscope base. But um, we don't want to attach it until we're closer to the end of the project. So just set it aside for now.